for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> The mystery of faith. Blessed Apostles, St. Glorious Martyrs, St. Montfort, and all the saints, and most constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Francis, our Pope, Peter Machado, our bishop, the order of bishops and the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially the members of the Montford family, and to all who are pleasing to you, a dear passing from this life Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
let us pray. O God, who have given to us as spiritual food the saving sacrament of your Son, which we have offered you in thanksgiving, grant that being strengthened by the gifts of courage and joy, we may serve you more devotedly and be worthy of still further blessings through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Please be seated. Dear friends, we are extremely happy today that God has given us 50 years and we hope to continue in the same spirit. Our beloved Archbishop was with us. We are happy that he is with us. And since he has got another program after this Mass, I request our beloved Provincial to come forward and thank him. As we have already heard in his reflection, the Archbishop said, My soul glorifies the Lord. Ma Mary, our Blessed Mother, glorified God for his plan for her, his ways, inspirations, presentations, manifestations. He also said, it's a time to return. Now, our beloved Archbishop is leaving us immediately. So on behalf of all the Montford Fathers, the Vice Province of India, and all of you are gathered here, I extend to him a very sincere thanks. In the spirit of Montford, in the spirit of Montford, he is always available to the Montford missionaries. As he sees around, the fathers, the brothers and sisters, as he already said, he is also available to us whenever we call him or for any need. So that's the spirit of Montford he shares and we are grateful to him. So I invite him to come forward and take the seat and just greet him and thank him wholeheartedly. Now, we'll have a little break. We go down and change our dress. Then we come back to the hall for the short felicitation program. Please stand. We'll have a photo. Also, you can sing the Jubilee song, please.
पंचे छे कोटि करो छे छे पंचे छे कोटि करो छे
Hello, Bishop. Thank you, Mohammed. You're on live. jubilant gathering with a moment of reverence as we seek the blessing for this occasion and gratitude for the 50 golden years that has brought us together. We all stand for the prayer song.
I now call upon the talented students of Mary Immaculate School in Wilson Garden for an exuberant start with a welcome dance. Welcome, dear students. A very heartfelt thanks to Mary Immaculate School students. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much to the Mary Immaculate School students for displaying your talents in such a wonderful way and for the right occasion. Thank you. Let us lend our ears to a welcome speech by Father Michael Sahiraj, a moment where we receive words of warmth, inclusion and acceptance. 
I also fondly call all the dignitaries on the stage, Reverend Father. Welcome, dear Father. Good morning and hearty welcome to each one of you gathered here. It is my privilege and honor to welcome all of you for the golden jubilee celebration of our presence in the service of God following the footsteps of our founder, St. Louis Marie de Montfort in India. The idea of founding SMM in India was conceived by the then Superior General, Reverend Father Marcel Jandro, at the invitation of Montfort Brothers of St. Gabriel in India. The seed was sown by the missionaries of the Italian province. What helped us to stand up is the charism and the spirituality of Montfort and the intangible legacy they left behind us, which leads us towards great transformation today. This 50th anniversary is the important landmark and it will be marked in the history as ever memorable one. Now it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome all the esteemed guests present with us today. We are privileged to have with us Father Mario Bellotti SMM. It is apt that he is the president of today's celebration he is one of the founding fathers of our wise province who came along with a pioneering team from the province of Italy. He was a missionary, at the same time a visionary, who proudly says, India is my first love. It is a great honor to have you with us, dear Father, on this occasion. We are delighted to extend our friendly welcome to His Excellency, Most Reverend Francis Saravo, Bishop of Shimoga, who is a good friend of Bonfortians. We are also honored to welcome Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Swami, Bishop of Chikmagalur, who always supports us in our journey. A hearty welcome to you, dear bishops, for your valuable presence. We are delighted to have the representatives from the General Administration Room, Father Marco Passinato and Father Prem Kumar, the General Counselors, they always accompany us in our journey. We extend to you a warm welcome, dear fathers. We are happy to welcome with grateful heart Father Thomas Parail, the administrator of Dharmaram College and the CMI fathers, who welcomed us with an open heart into the Dharmaram campus. A hearty welcome to you, dear fathers. We are also happy to welcome Father Missionaries. Hearty welcome to you, dear fathers. We also, we also have with us our Montfortian family, the Montfort brothers of St. Gabriel and the Daughters of Wisdom and their provincials. Welcome, dear brothers and fathers, sisters. 
I accord a warm welcome to all the provincials of various congregations and the priests and religious and all our Bonfort associates, our well-wishers, our benefactors and our friends. Once again, I welcome you all and take this opportunity to thank you. Hope you cherish this moment, wonderful moment with us. Thank you. Thank you, Father Michael, for your welcome address. Delving into the rich history, we have a documentary video presentation of SMM India by the Vice President of Montfort Lay Association, Mr. Rolif D'Souza. Let us gain insights into the remarkable journey of Montfort Fathers in India. Sorry, there's a change. We will have it next. In a moment of quiet reflection, we are honored to receive a presidential message from Reverend Father Maria Bellotti, a luminary whose wisdom has guided the Montfort's legacy. He just completed preaching retreat for the whole Montfortian family, and his words carry the weight of experience, marking the significance of this milestone. Welcome to you, dear Father. Thank you. It's definitely wonderful to be here. I have been told to summarize 50 years in two minutes. And normally I comply with the expectations. But uh, Father Vice Provincial will forgive me if I take a few more minutes. Anyway, uh, Father Mar Marcel Jean Dro has been already introduced. And he was a Breton coming from north of France. There is a story about Bretons. They are declared Bretons only when an opportunity is given to slam their head against the rock. If the rock gets broken, that's de declared a Breton. And it was because of his, because of his stubbornness, I should really repeat it, because of his stubbornness that we underwent this project, this foundation. Because the many, many situations were playing against us. He said, you go ahead against all odds. And stubbornness stayed on with us because a few months after we started our foundation a, an assistant to the superior general came over to visit us by name of father setzer an american but probably of german origin he was stubborn the other way around because when he saw our situation, he said, my friends, no hopes. Just finish your money and go back to Italy. But in the group, there was a very, there was a very stubborn man by name of Father Attilio Corna, who said, this is a man without faith. So he said, we stay on, despite all odds. And so it happened. So stubbornness was a principal attitude that made us start and continue on. The second attitude, or the second atmosphere that enabled us to stay on was friendship. Friendship with the brothers, 
of St. Gabriel, friendship with the CMI, I didn't know them, didn't have a clue of what, who they were. Then we came across a certain Father Jonas, who later on, who later on was made bishop, who was the, the uh, secretary to the bishop's conference. And he made it possible to obtain a visa for us, which would go on only as far as we would present ourselves as students. In fact, I had the honor to be the first MPH student of Darmaran College, the very first. Does, that mean, does this mean that so far my voice could not reach down there? Okay. Too bad, anyway. So, friendship. But then, after three years or four of studies here, because I really took it easy, I wanted to stay in India. And the university could not recommend me anymore. Neither me nor another father who was also here as a student. So I went to the commissioner of police. I said, sir, I would be very happy to stay in India, but I think my time is due. No, sir. We know that you are a friend of lepers. I don't like that word. I always say leprosy patients. We know that you are a friend of leprosy patients. And on that account, we will extend your visa. And so it happened for another five years. That's the reason why the foundation could build up a certain skeleton. We managed in ten, in 10 years, more or less, to have, to have some priests ordained. And when we were asked to move, because they wouldn't re extend the revi anymore. A visa. We were in this foundation. So stubbornness and friendship. Stubbornness in the spirit, obviously not stubbornness of heart. And then friendship. Friendship with the local institutes and friendship with the poor. This is it, 50 years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Mario Bellotti. Firstly, for meeting the expectations of the audience, that is the two minutes, you have nicely and sweetly summarized the journey of the Montfortian 
uh, history and how it began, and also shared some interesting anecdotes. Thank you very much, Father, Father Mario. Also, thank you very much, Father Mario, for pioneering the Montfortian journey in India. And of course, as you can see, it's growing stronger and stronger by the day, and the journey continues. So once again, uh, big applause to Father Mario Bellotti. Chick, hello, hello. Mic check. Hello, Chick. Hello, hello. The audio is rectified now. We have the documentary video presentation of SMM India by the Vice President of Montfort Lay Association, Mr. Rolif D'Souza. From 1973 to 2023, we the Montfort missionaries celebrate our 50 years of our mission in India. It is a time to thank God and praise Mary and raise our voices as a symphony to the Lord. Be a missionary is a call within the call. It reveals the inner dynamics of zeal, enthusiasm and the sincere commitment of the one who chooses to serve and be at the service. On the 6th of June in the year 1706, Father de Montfort had an audience with His Holiness Pope Clement XI, where he expressed his desire to go to the foreign missions to proclaim the good news. But His Holiness sensed the zeal and enthusiasm of the saint and honored him with the title Apostolic Missionary. Father de Montfort was asked to work for the renewal of the church in France itself. In the footsteps of our holy founder, very reverend Father Marcel Gendrot, the then Superior General, his vicar Frank Setzer, and the counselors had received repeated invitations from the brothers of St. Gabriel, India, to come over and lay the foundation in India. Foundation of SMM in India by the Italian province. SMM is grateful to the Italian province for laying the Montfortian foundation in India. The Montfortian history cannot forget the founding missionaries in the persons of Fathers Attilio Corna, Michelangelo Corna, Mario Bellotti, and Father Isidoro. First vocations. Every vocation is God's gift, and so he consecrates the chosen ones in the truth for his mission. He not only calls, but offers his wisdom to make him an effective worker. The first house of the Montfort missionaries is realized in Bangalore on the 8th of September 1978 and named as Maria Bhavan. The Archbishop of Bangalore, R.T. Reverend Dr. Arokya Swami, blessed the house. As the vocations were constantly increasing, the formation houses were realized in Bangalore, Mysore and Chikmangalore and other places. Our mission in India today extends to many places across India. The formation. Guru Mandir is the minor seminary. Sneha Bhavan is the novitiate. Maria Bhavan is the scholasticate. The mission in India. S. Pudur. Our Lady of Good Health Parish, Kumbakonam. A small village and remote parish entrusted to SMM India in 2004. The first parish priest was Father Irudaya Raj, currently for the area in 2000. Betam Cherla, Karnul, Andhra Pradesh Parish Mission. It is a mission parish with eight substations and a boarding house for poor boys. Our fathers are working hard in the line of evangelization and education. Currently, Father Kiran is the parish priest. Shantinagar, Savara Tribal Mission, Andhra Pradesh. This is one of the biggest mission stations which has more than 100 substations. The people speak the tribal language called Savara. Edi Jola, a place which has another parish in the Savara region. Currently, Father Ashwini, 
Father Balaraj and Father Bala Shauri are working in the mission. We have the Montfort School in Purupam, Andhra Pradesh, providing quality education to rural children. Other than working in the parishes of late, hospice and home for the dying destitutes is taken up by the Montfort missionaries. Montfort missionaries are rendering that selfless service in different dioceses and institutions in India. Mission Abroad Our conferers from India are working in different parts of the world in Rome, Papua New Guinea, USA, Peru and Brazil, Nicaragua, Germany and Australia are leaders for the past 50 years. For the Kiran Flynn from 1981 to 1984, for the Anil Kumar from 1984 to 1991, for the Joseph Raja Rao from 1991 to 1997 and from 2015 to 2016, for the Alphonse Walder from 1997 to 2000, for Montfort lay associates who were recently consecrated in, in August 2022 after attending the four preparation sessions of the TTJ, Totus Tus Jesus. God is with us, who can be against us? Hence we take risk to glorify God in all that we do. I am with you to the end of times, is Jesus' promise, and in his presence we pray, meditate, proclaim the good news, celebrate life in the Eucharist, and involve in different ministries or pastoral activities. His mission is our mission, through Mary and with Mary, we work to know and to love Jesus. The poor are our well-wishers and friends. Jesus the light, Mary and Mary. Reverend Father Nashwin and Reverend Father Francis. We should thank Mr. Rolif D'Souza for taking us back into the remarkable journey of Montfort Fathers in India. Thank you so much. Mr. Rolip D'Souza. Emotions find expression in movement. I now invite the students of St. Joseph's Institute of Skills, led by Father Deepak, for their mesmerizing dance performance.
Once again, a uh, very big applause to the students from the St. Joseph's Institute of Skills for the very inspiring dance and setting up a very prayerful ambience on this very solemn occasion. I will be failing in my duty if I uh, fail to thank three important people who are responsible for this. Firstly, Reverend Father Deepak for having choreographed the dance. <laughs> Reverend, Father uh, Reverend Father David for composing the song and Sister Nirmala for choreographing it. We are now honored to receive a special message from Most Reverend Dr. Francis Serao, the Bishop of Shimoga, who is a close associate of Montford Fathers in India, sharing his blessings and thoughts on this significant milestone. Reverend Father Peter Mascarenas, the Superior Provincial Superior, Reverend Father Mario, the President of this program, His Excellency Anthony Swami, the two General Counselors, Reverend Father Marco and Reverend Father Prem Kumar, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, Brothers and Friends. What are we celebrating here today? We are not celebrating here today 50 years. We don't celebrate years. What we are celebrating is the journey of last 50 years. What we are celebrating here is the sweat and the blood that was, you know, given by those pioneers of this mission. What we are celebrating here is sacrifice that is done by Montfortian fathers. What we are celebrating here is the dedication for the kingdom of God. What we are celebrating here is a commitment and conviction that was lived out for the last 50 years. What we are celebrating here is long journey of 50 years of faith, love and charity. On this occasion, I am delighted to address you. First of all, I would like to thank Father Peter Mascarenas for inviting me here. I know him quite well for the last couple of years. In fact, my association with Montfortians began with his first installment. I think Montfortians follow the Jesuit tradition at least in one thing, that if the person is not doing well, they are called again, repeat. And Father Peter Mascarenas was given this privilege of coming back to this house or as provincial. It is he who introduced me to this family. And I fell in love with this because of their commitment. I was here in this house coming every month for three years as spiritual director for the brothers. I was there in the mission field when they wanted mission exposure, social work, and to face the challenges of social work. Even when we were attacked in Anikal, it was the Montfortians who were with me. And they took the decision to go to the villages and remain there. And that is what I'm speaking, apostolic aggressivity. Apostolic aggressivity. And that is what is keeping up the Mount Fortians here. You know, in a way it is a blessing. In a way it is not a blessing. In a way it is their advantage. In a way not advantage. The advantage is that they do not have big established institutions. We may again and again feel, the religious feel, these institutions absorb all our resources, money and men, both. But 
that is also in a way disadvantage because those who do not have institutions of this kind as showcase do not attract vocations today and also have to live on God's providence and mercy of the others. I think that is better than the first curse. Still, I wish this family grows in number, in quality, and above all, in their commitment to the mission. For the last 50 years, what we have seen here is only a few, you know, shots that are projected. But what I have seen is journeying with the poorest of the poor. Wherever they are, they are not in the cities, they are in the remotest villages and giving themselves completely for this work. So, on this occasion, I would like to congratulate the entire Mount Foshan community, the, the uh, family here, the pioneers and those who have followed the footsteps of the pioneers for the last 50 years. I would like to congratulate the provincials in the past and the present that they are the ones who have led this province and given this direction. I would like to in a special way thank for the Peter Mascarenas, the present provincial, for inviting me, making me feel comfortable here, which I always feel in this campus, and giving me this occasion to say a few words. What I wish for the Mount Fosians, I wish Mount Fosians that the spirit of commitment may remain. You know, there is a beautiful story with which I will end. Little girl, Dina, mother, the mother had the habit of feeding her in the evening, her supper, and taking her to the bed every night. Small girl, hardly three years taking her to the bed and make her sleep. And she would sit on the bed along with her darling Dina. That day the same, little girl was fed and taken to the bed to sleep and she was lying there and mother was seated on the same bed. All of a sudden, little girl got st sat on the bed and said, Mommy, Mommy, I love you so much. And mother was so moved by these words. Small girl hardly learned to speak, I love you so much. And mommy replied, darling, I love you as much. She slept there hardly two minutes. Once again, the little girl sat on the bed and son said, mommy, mommy, I'm ready to risk my life for you. My God, she said, can you imagine these words? I'm ready to risk my life for you. She grabbed the child in her arms and tears were rolling down. And she said, my darling Dina, I'm ready to risk my life for you too. And she slept with the child. Hardly two minutes, once again, the child sat on the bed and said, Mommy, Mommy, can I ask you a question? She said, what is it? She said, Mommy, could you tell me what is the meaning of risk? Without knowing what it, what it means, did you say, I'm ready to risk my life for you? Father Peter and Mount Foshian fathers, if I say you have to die for Christ, I'm sure you will curse the provincial who invited me. No, let's make a compromise for a golden jubilee. Do not die for Christ. Will you live for Christ? and Christ alone, as you did for the last 50 years. God bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> On behalf of the service that was rendered to me in the Diocese of Shimoga, and as the Provincial of Karnataka Jesuits in the past, I would like to honor the entire the Mount Foshan family here, but on behalf of them, I take the privilege of honoring the provincial superior.
there is a saying, to be grateful is to recognize the love of God in everything. Thank you, Dr. Francis Sarawo, for delivering a very inspiring message and for sharing the very nice anecdote. I'm sure your inspiring message will inspire the Montfortians to take their mission to greater heights. Thank you, Dr. Francis Sarawo. I now call for the Francis to express our gratitude to the esteemed dignitaries. It is a moment of acknowledgement and honor. Welcome, dear father. I'm really, really privileged to have the pleasant task of leading the felicitation ceremony to the dignitaries and distinguished guests amidst us. By felicitating, we fondly acknowledge your gracious and valuable presence on this historical day of the Golden Jubilee of the celebration of the Vice Province of India. Now may I call upon His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Bishop Francis Sarawo, to the stage. May I call upon His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Bishop Antony Swami, please come to the dais. May I request, very Reverend Father, Father Mario Bellotti, please come to the dais. May I request Father Marco, our General Counselor, please come to the dais. May I call upon Reverend Father Prem Kumar, our General Counselor, to the stage. May I request Reverend Father Peter Mascarenhas, our Provincial Superior, to come to the stage. Now the dignitaries will be felicitated by the Provincial Reverend Father Peter Mascarenhas and the Vicar Reverend Father Michael Sagaraj. His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Francis Sarawo, the Bishop of Shimoga, is a good friend of Montfort missionaries. We are grateful for his gracious presence on this auspicious occasion. May I request His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Francis Sarawa, to receive our felicitation and memento. Thank you, Your Excellency. His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Antony Swami, is a good friend and a well-wisher of Montfort Missionaries. We are grateful for his gracious presence on this auspicious occasion. 
May I request His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Antony Swami, to receive our felicitation and memento. Now we have with us a very special person, very Reverend Father Mario Bellotti, one of the pioneers of Mount Worth missionaries in India. It is a rare and a rare grace that the pioneer is with us to participate in our Golden Jubilee celebration. Along with his presence, he brings us the greetings and the message of the provincial of Italy, Reverend Father Angelo Sotti. We would like to honor and pay our respect to our pioneer. Thank you, Father. Now we have with us Reverend Father Marco, our General Counselor. We are happy and feel supported for the gracious presence of the General Counselor. In charge of formation in the congregation, we felicitate our General Counselor. Thank you, Father. Now we have with us Reverend Father Prem Kumar, the General Counselor. He is the youngest and the first General Counselor chosen from the Vice Province of India. It's a joyful moment to have our conference. Thank you, Father. 
Reverend Father Peter Maskelinus, the Provincial Superior. It is an apt honor to honor our Provincial Superior and Father Peter Maskelinus, who is an able leader who is endowed with innovative thinking and progressive plan for the growth of the wise province. May I call upon Reverend Father Mark Mario Bellotti to felicitate our provincial. Thank you, Father. Now we have two papal blessings. May I request Reverend Father Marco to hand over the papal blessing to the provincial Reverend Father Peter Mascarenas. May I call upon Father Johnson to receive the papal blessing, the rector of Marie Bhavan. Father Prem will hand over the papal blessing. Prem. Hand over to Johnson. Yeah, yeah, better. Thank you, fathers. Thank you, Reverend Father Francis, for honoring all the dignitaries. May I ask the dignitaries to go back to your places. I now invite Reverend Father Marco Passinato, our Vicar General, for his insightful message, offering his perspective. I for the Father Dewey, address you this message and this blessing. My dear confrères, lay associates, brothers and sisters in Christ, celebrating the golden jubilee of our presence in India is indeed a moment of grace. It is a moment of joy to give thanks to God for all the blessing that he has been showing upon us as an entity and a moment of renewing our commitment and our way of living and doing as Montfort missionaries in India. Fifty years of presence in is a God-given grace that invites us also to go deeper in ourselves as Montfortian, as an entity it is a call to renew our spirit as a consecrated persons we will be able to continue to continue to renew the spirit of a Christianity in our I do hope that seeking 
contemplating and revealing the true wisdom with, through, and in Mary, our mother, Marx. our way of living and celebrating the golden jubilee of our presence in India. Finally, I gladly join with you, my dear priests and brothers, in thanking and praising God for the past 50 golden years of blessings he has showered upon our hand. I pray that uh, this celebration becomes a launching pad of renewing our way of living and doing mission for the sake of God's kingdom. May Mother Mary guide and mold us to become more and more like her son, Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, and St. Louis Marie de Montfort continue to inspire us to have good missionaries in the company of Mary for the service of the Church, for the service of the Gospel. Congratulations and God bless you, Father Joseph Putra Dui Dharma Vatum, Superior General of the Company of Mary. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reverend Father Marco, for your very inspiring message and also sh sharing the message from the Superior General of the Montfort Congregations. Once again, thank you very much, Father Mar uh, Marco, and a big round of applause. Dear friends, we have with us Reverend Dr. Bishop Raja Rao with us. He has joined in just now. We all welcome him with a round of applause. <laughs> Most Reverend Dr. Francis Sarabo is leaving us now as he has his own responsibility. It was a privilege and honor to have you, dear Bishop, with us. Let us also give a round of applause for him. I now invite Mr. William Rodriguez, the president of Montfortian Lay Association, for his heartfelt message reflecting the dedication and commitment of being lay associate in advancing the mission of St. Montfort. Hearty welcome. Most reverend bishops, reverend father councillors, reverend father provincial, reverend fathers, reverend sisters, fellow lay associates. Ladies and gentlemen, Montford Lay Association started in the year 1997 under the leadership and spiritual guidance of Reverend Father Peter Maskirinus, who was then director of Maria Baban, supported by Brother Rizzo. Images currently serving as Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Lay, Papua New Guinea. As a
seminarian brother Rosario Minijas had close contacts with parishioners of Krista Prabalaya Jayanagar and few neighboring areas, namely Domblur, Indranagar, Hebal, St. Anthony's Freire, Madiwala, etc. Father's Peter, Father Peter's motive. behind this lay association was to spread the devotion of Mother Mary to the lay people. Motto being to Jesus through Mary. Initial days, it was Mr. Joseph Vegas, Mrs. Wilma Vegas, and few others have rendered their solid support to establish this lay association. The lay association was nativity feast, visit to an orphanage or old age home before Christmas, every year lay associates have generously contributed to these orphanages or old age homes. To motivate and acquaint further on Marian devotion, Father Peter Muscarinus has specially organized pilgrimages to many holy places like Mysore, Goa, Valangani, Chikmagalur, Calcutta, Darjeeling, Sri Lanka, France, Portugal, and Turkey. It was Holy Rosary and Eucharistical celebration at every place of visit made associates spiritually strong. After Father Peter Muscarinus has taken over charge as provincial, it was Father Rennie Joseph who was appointed as spiritual director. Father Rennie Joseph was instrumental in many spiritual events. Tutor's Toe's journey was one such event. And after complete successful sessions, associates were issued with certificates. At present, Father Johnson has taken over as the new, new spiritual director. The journey of the association part of Golden Jubilee celebration of Montford Mission in India. On behalf of Lay Association, I congratulate the Montfortian congregation and wish them all the best of luck. Thank you, one and all. History of the lay associates. 
It must be noted that the lay associates have also completed 25 years uh, of their uh, service. So I think uh, a hearty applause to all the lay associates present here. And also, um, thanks to Mr. William Rodriguez for his strong commitment to the Montfort Lay Association, serving as the president for the second consecutive term. Wish you all the best in the, uh, the coming terms. Yeah. I now invite Most Reverend Dr. Raja Rao, the Montfortian Bishop, Indian Montfortian Bishop, onto the stage. Meanwhile, I request all the provincials and SMM superiors to be ready for the felicitation to follow on. Father Joseph, Father Joseph, please go for Father Joseph, Reverend Father Sylvester, the OCD Provincial. Parel, Thomas Parel, Thomas Parel. We have with us Passionist Fathers Provincial. Please come to the dice. Next. Thank you. May I request Brother George. S.G. Montford Brothers, the Provincial of Bangalore Province. Please come to the dais. Brother Jaiko, Montford Brother, Provincial of Pune Province. Brother Irudayam, Provincial of Trichy, Montford Brother. Brother Jaiko. He's coming. He's Jaiko. Brother Herman, the provincial of Ranchi. Herman, provincial of Ranchi. May I call upon Sister Genevieve, the Provincial of Daughters of Wisdom. May I call upon Sister Alice, the Provincial of FSI.
Mr. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Gregory Pais. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now may I request His Excellency Most Reverend Dr. Antony Sami to distribute the memento and shawl. Please come to me. Yes, ma'am. May I request Reverend Father Greg Gregorius Pasi, the Vicar Provincial of Montfort Missionaries, Indonesia, please come to the dais. May I request Reverend Father Joske Jacob, the missionary in the United States, please come to the dais. May I call up May I call upon Father Jos Father Jos May I call upon Father Anand and Father Jason, missionaries working in Germany, representing Reverend Father Yakil, our benefactor to the Vice Province of India and representing the Marine Head community. May I call upon Mr. Baptist, our lawyer and legal advisor. Please come to the dais. May I call upon Mr. Gerald and Mr. Donald, the owners of Banavanti Estate, Chikmangalur, who helped us financially. Sir, go, please go.
Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now may I call upon Reverend Father Mario, our pioneer, to felicitate and give a memento. Now we'd like to felicitate our provincial councillors. Father Shibijos. Father Ashwini and Father Prakash. May I call upon Mr. William Rodriguez, the President of Mount Fortley Association. Please come to the dais. Father Prakash. Come, come, get it. Mr. William Rodriguez, the President of Lea Montfort Lea Association. Mr. Rolif, the Secretary of the Montfort Lea Association. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now may I call upon our General Counselor, Reverend Father Marco, to felicitate our confreres. Now we'd like to call upon the community and the superiors of communities. Provincial aid community comprised of Father Shibi, Father Joseph, Father J. Siraj, Father Michael Menezes, Father J. Kumar, and Father David. And the moment will be received by Reverend Father Michael Menezes. And today is Father Michael Mary's ordination anniversary. Congratulations, Father. <laughs> Next, Father Johnson, the Superior Rector. Father Jerome, Superior of Anugraha Community. Father Jerome, Father John Murray, Superior of Minor Seminary, Father 
Father Nashvin, the MC and in charge of communication in the entity. Father Victor Dias, Superior Montford Farm. Father Muttu, in charge of liturgy and decoration. Thank you, Father Marco. Thank you. May I call upon our General Counselor, Reverend Father Prem Kumar, to come to the stage. <laughs> Father Judis, Superior of Snehabon Nauset Community. <laughs> Father Moses, Superior of Montfort Nivas. Father Moses. Father Dominic. Father Balashavari. Father Bala Shauri. Father Kiran. Father Kiran. Father Bala is our first Montfort missionary. Father Isaac. Father Isaac. The superior of St. Montfort School, Kurupam. Father Isaac. We have just two more. <laughs> Father Francis, Superior of Scholastic Sailuru. We have Father Deepak, the coordinator of the Golden Jubilee celebration. Thank you, Father Prem. Thank you. Thank you, Dear Father Francis, for the felicitation. We all are at the concluding ceremony now. Concluding our event, we now have the oath of thanks by Father Peter Muskerness, our provincial. 
expressing gratitude to all who have made this celebration possible. Good afternoon to one and all. It is said an attitude of gratitude is a way to be a beatitude, to grow in be happy attitude. When we are grateful to God and to one another, we live the spirit of joy and gratefulness. So that leads us to the altitude in the midst of the multitude. I see a lot of solitude with which we share this biblical spirit that's the beatitude. I strongly feel this has been the spirit of the Mount Fortunes for the past 50 years and pray that this spirit may continue to rule us, guide us and also enlighten us on our pilgrimage of faith here and now. With this, I stand here to express a few words of thanks for many Our house, what we call the novitiate in his diocese. We have also many of our confreres, fathers, are serving, rendering service in the diocese. You have made efforts to be with us to grace this occasion. Thank you, Your Grace. <clears throat> Bishop, our beloved Bishop Rajarao, Bishop of Vijayawada, he loves Wada, though, do not taste. La, though do not, do, they do not taste like peda of Darwada, but not beda so ne, to say no, as he settled in Vijayawada, serving the people of Peddawada and many other villages around. You are with us at this moment to, graciously, to grace this occasion. In spite of your commitments, you are with us, sharing the missionary spirit one of the essential pillars of Montfortune spirituality. We thank you for being with us and appreciate your presence and also as you tomorrow are going to ordain two of our deacons to priesthood, I stand indebted to you. Let's give him a big hand. <clears throat> Bishop Francis Saravo is not here, he just left. However, we know that his words of wisdom is never a boredom. Though a person of seldom few words, but with warm and in a form to perform and to reform the divine norm, speaks about the dome of fame in discernment of vocation and profound sense of mission like for Francis. I thank him in his absence. We have with us our pioneer, Reverend Father Mario, who came to India together with late Father Atilio and Michelangelo. Father Mario, you are a person of discipline, has passion for preaching, and that is your fashion, lifestyle too. Sharing the prophetic tool of compassion in ocean and nation with a sense you gain as you enjoy the wine, and that makes you fine as you dine, with a lot of gain as nothing in vain, but remain a stalwart son of Monfort in many domains. We salute you and grateful to you for being with us at this auspicious occasion. <clears throat> we also thank you for your wonderful reflection on our founder during our retreat and your precious company to many as we stand here. Reverend Father Marco, you stand tall in this hall, as it is a jubilee hall. You have joined us at this august gathering with a goal to arrive at the pole, as we recall, with the role of our superior general. 
you are a person of formation with a devout consecration in our vocation stand with devotion and dedication as we are in jubilation at this celebration thank you and praise god and thank god for your presence that adds joy and color i recall the italian pro provincial's message which is also has given us impetus as well as hope for the ongoing journey thank you father marco father prem as your name stands for love you live with your with your dive and drive around the young and the old with a sense of care and bear and spare so that we may become aware of our communion participation and mission with the vision of monfort expressed his love for mary and christ incarnate your presence is gracious as you are precious at this auspicious occasion may god bless you as you love our congregation thank you father as it is 50 years i also stand to recall the superior general of the cmi fathers reverend father thomas chatham parambal rector of darmaram who is also not present here the president of dvk the vice chancellor of christ university father joy and the principals and coordinators of the school surround we thank them wholeheartedly as a province for all their help and support to us with this note i stand in gratitude to many here all our provincials monfort brothers of saint gabriel many of them have joined us from far and wide as well as other provincial monfort sisters the provincial team and many others i stand grateful to you as you have shared our joy thank you dear provincials i am greatly indebted to the provincial council fathers michael sagaraj the vicar shibijos the treasurer ashwin father ashwin and Prak and father prakash for their support report and report without any depart in it we march together forward with sides and insights to the mission of our founder i am grateful to them and for their support our overseas conferers who are present here for the jews from the united states of america father anand from germany representing father yakil who has extended his financial support this is program and we remain grateful to him for the jason who represents the marian hide community they have traveled from far and wide for this program a big thanks to you and our prayers accompany you on behalf of the wise province of india all the superiors and emeritus of community socios paris free scholastics regents novices students everyone who oh, give thanks to the lord our coordinator of this program and various committees father deepak generous and devoted and dedication con dedicated confrere together with many others who has worked with the committee leaders father franz especially who did the felicitation program the souvenir committee also and all the members father johnson who is in charge of what we call accommodation and reception committee and the members for the jerome food committee and for the lawrence food committee members for the muttu liturgy and decoration committee members i stand indebted to them all how put in lot of hard work to realize and make this memorable day a special one three cheers to each of them let us give a big hand <laughs> our well wishers and benefactors our lawyer as we said mr baptist who has been supporting us from years together our auditors mr miranda and team miranda is not here so also mr gerald and donald estate owners of banavanti who have also given us financial support mrs grace pies english reader of the magazine to jesus and mary for the past many years i remain grateful to them 
our beloved associates, the President Mr. William, Vice President Mr. Vincent, Treasurer Mr. Valerian, Secretary Rolliff, and also the first President of the Association, Mr. Vegas, who is here, who have prepared uh, this. Rolliff also has prepared a video, as you have seen, and he was MT, MC of the day together with Father Nashwin. I thank them specially for their humorous and thought-provoking insights. Former presidents and office bearers of Montfort Associates, some are here, others are not here, some have gone to heaven. However, if you remember all of them and pray for God's abundant blessings on them and their families, we remember also Montfort alumni, our former brothers or students.